If you're like me, having to make the first swing of the day with a long iron down a tight par four isn't exactly the stuff of dreams. And yet, here we are. So I stumbled across the Cali A1X online. It's got that really sleek, classic looking design about it that sort of gives you the impression it should be in the bag of a tour player. Well, I'm not a tour player or an especially great ball striker, but I've always wanted a driving iron or that type of club, but it's never seemed like the percentage play. Let's see if I can play a low draw. Well, until this guy came along. So in terms of the specs, it's 20 degrees, calls itself a utility iron, and it's got a recoil dart shaft in it. It's also cheap. I picked this up online for 119 pounds, which is basically half the price of TaylorMade and Titleist offerings. It came in my golf spy's top three most wanted utility irons. Now I've hit that low draw with it, but testing it out now to see whether I can hit a high fade. It's possibly the most excited I've been to hit a golf club in a long time. It's got quite a thick top edge, so it looks forgiving, but at the same time, when it's sat behind the ball, you've got a feeling it just wants to hit good shots. Like I said, I'm not a flusher, but this seems just as easy to hit little fades as it is to hit little draws, and that's a good thing to have on a golf course. I'm also seeing that it releases nicely when it lands, so even on a damp morning like this, it's bouncing and running on just to give you that little bit of extra yardage. So well done Calais because I have absolutely no complaints about this iron. In fact, my biggest problem is if I'm gonna put this into play, it means I need to take something else out of my bag. And that's why I'm down here at the driving range. I'm gonna jump on my Rapsodo MLM2 Pro and I'm gonna test the numbers against both my four iron and my five wood. And we're gonna see what that tells me. So as I said, I was testing it on the Rapsodo. I've hit a few balls with each of the clubs just to try and get that feel for the numbers for you. And I'm gonna throw those numbers up because they'll try and make some interesting reading out of it. You'll see that the, what, the club with the biggest total distance was the utility iron at 204 yards. It also had a much lower ball flight. So its average apex was 76 feet in comparison to 83 feet on the five wood and perhaps surprisingly, 87 feet on the forward. But like I said, I'm just a normal ball striker, so it is what it is for me. Club head speed was 91 on the utility iron compared to 96 on the five wood, longer shaft. And the ball speed, 131 on the five wood, 128 on the utility, 124 on the forward. I think my takeaway from this is though, that Calais have just done a great job with this utility iron. It's super easy to hit, and you really feel like you can hit draws and fades without being a great ball striker. I feel much more confident in shaping this club than say I would the five wood or a three wood. And I think if you're someone that plays a golf course and you really need that fairway finder, or that you've got a dry fairways and you're gonna get the bounce and the run from the lower ball flight, I really think at the price, this club needs to at least be in the conversation for you. I'm gonna keep testing it. I'm a big fan of it. I've just got to find the right spot in the bag and maybe it comes down to which course I'm playing and finding the right course for the club. I hope something in this video has been interesting for you though. Hope you've got some value out of it and hopefully I'll see you in another one soon.